Hi traders, happy weekend. Uh, this is the Dow on the daily. It's a huge, a huge weekly buyers bar here. Every single day last week closed higher, and we busted through the um, pre uh, credit crunch highs. And the credit crunch high is actually around about the 200 mark. So I'm looking for a pullback to this monthly R R1 pivot here. A uh, few things t to note. First of all, the US have put their clocks forward an hour today. So the Dow opens at 1.30 p.m. instead of 2.30, that's UK time. Secondly, we've got options expiring on Fridays. So, you know, I, I would, I'm trading for the first half of the week and being very cautious the second half of the week. And equally, what have I forgotten? Uh, it's very light on data. We've got very little data this week. So I'm expecting the markets just to drift back to these pivot levels with no key data to, to drive it. And then possibly into next week, see some, um, once we get the options expiry out of the way, to see that pick up and move forward the following week. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for in the Dow to, to pull back because the RSI is high here. Euro, um, we just clung on to 130 on Friday, just. So I think with the strength of the dollar we're seeing here, I think we'll see a pullback to the 13050 to 70 area and come down and retest 128. Uh, massive support 12880 on the euro okay and the, in the premium membership we are looking at my day trading plan at the weekly uh, webinar called the traders round table and we are also trading the Dow open on Tuesday morning uh, I will open up the, the Dow trading period so anybody who wants to tr trade the Dow live with me, then um, send me an email and I will send you a link and the details for that, okay? Otherwise, um, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I hope to hear from you in the near future.